Hey guys, it's Annie, and today's video is a bit of a follow-up video to my last one, which was about my experience with depression and pretty much the darker side of my mind. My purpose for this channel has always been I wanted to grow it in order to reach people, to inspire others, to help them, to connect, and you know, just be a positive influence and, and help people. And in order to help people, I think it's important for them to know that I have had struggles, I've had a really bad mindset, I've gone through difficult times. So I'm not gonna go over the bad stuff so much in this video. That's why I dedicated my last video to my struggles. This video is gonna be about how I've overcome so much of that and have switched my mindset and things that I've done to change my life around. It is all about your mindset. Everything, the quality of your life, relies on your mindset. So if you're struggling and you feel a lot of negative things, judgment, self-doubt, judgment towards other people, if you want to live a more positive, productive, happy, good, fulfilled life, then you're gonna wanna learn how to take control of that and change your mindset. First of all, this is a variety channel. I do a lot of different kinds of videos. I vlog, I sometimes do music, I do like lifestyle morning routines, I test weird products, I make videos on my cat who is right there. <laughs> so there are a lot of things on this channel. If you wanna stick around for a variety and just like we can be friends, then click the subscribe button and notification bell so you're updated when I post videos every week. And if anything resonates, with you in this video, click the like button. Also, when you do click the like button, it really helps my channel and supports getting my videos out there. So if you wanna support me, like. And comment down below, that actually helps my videos as well. So, diving on in to these tips. A few years ago, I was at a really low point in my life and I went and was talking to a friend. This was like the moment that really started the change. He was like, you need to read these books. I'm going to order them for you. So he got on his phone onto Amazon. He ordered me these books. They showed up and then obviously I had to read them in order for them to work. So I would have never gone out seeking help through a book, but these books right here changed or at least started my mindset change. I first read this book called The Miracle Morning, The Not So Obvious Secret Guaranteed to transform your life before 8 a.m. Very simple, very small, had a huge impact on me. And if any of you are like, I'm not gonna read, reading's not going to change anything for me, wrong. <laughs> if you read and listen and take action on what the books say, they do help. I hated reading so much. This is not something I would have gone to. But the thing is, back then I was at such a low point in my life, I just thought, I have to do something different. I will try anything at this point to make my life better. Even just reading the reviews at the beginning of this book, listening to how many people that this had helped and changed their life, I was like, okay, well, if it worked for these people, maybe it's gonna work for me. Then, because this was the other one sent to me much longer, I dived on into this one, and this is The Success Principles, How to Get from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be by Jack Canfield. He is a very successful man. He grew up poor and is now a huge success. I love this book for getting me into self-help, but this book has so much in it. Like the first chapter is all about taking accountability for your life. Regardless if people have been crappy to you, every single decision I've made has made it so I've wound up here. Like if you're working a job that you hate, you're the one deciding to stay at that job. Whenever I meet someone who seems miserable working their job, I'm like, then do and go after the job that you really want to do. Why are you wasting your time somewhere you're miserable? And I didn't have that mindset before, but first chapter is all about taking accountability and that changed my mindset. Like, whoa, wait, I do have control to make decisions to change things in my life. And if you're saying, nope, I'm stuck for this or that reason, then that's an excuse. Since these two books have changed my life so much and they were gifted to me, these are my copies, of course. I decided I'm going to do a giveaway. To enter, you have to be subscribed, hit the like button, and comment below saying that you want these. And tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm still deciding. I might pick two different winners. One winner for this book, one winner for this book, or Maybe I'll send them both to one person. So the things that I've read in my self-help books, those are what I've done 
to improve my life. I try to have a routine. And if you want me to do a like morning routine for a positive mindset or success or something like that, let me know. But when my morning routine is on point, I feel such a huge improvement in my life. So with that, my best mornings start out with me pulling out my phone, going onto YouTube and typing in quick guided meditation and you listen to it. And it is really hard at first. If you're not used to meditating, your mind like kind of wanders off. It will take a while to get used to it, but that has helped me immensely. Both of these books talk about that. Exercise. And I know if you're not into that, it sounds horrible. Trust me, I hated, hated working out, but I, enjoy it so much now. If I feel crappy and I don't wanna go work out, I just do it anyway. And as I start working out, and especially after, that flips my mood around completely. I feel so much better. Going to the gym and getting in shape is just an easy example for me. But if you want to get in shape and you say, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the gym, and then you wake up and you're like, mm, I don't really feel like it, I guess I'm not gonna go. You're cheating yourself. You're letting yourself down when you don't even, even when you can't even rely on yourself. Yeah, it sucks if you're flaking on other people and yeah, that's not a good thing to do, but how are, you, how are you going to keep promises to other people if you can't keep a promise to yourself? That's where you need to start out. And if you follow me on Instagram, I say this all the time, it's not about motivation because you're not going to be motivated a lot of the time like you can't rely on motivation to get things done you have to rely on being dedicated so it's dedication over motivation even when you don't feel motivated you are dedicated to following through for yourself on the things that you told yourself you're going to do or things that you told other people you were going to do. In my mind, that kind of connects with karma. If you flake on people a lot, you might notice that people do that to you too, but you have to set that standard in yourself that I'm not gonna flake on myself, I'm not gonna flake on other people. Karma will set in, I'm telling you, if you are focused on making the best choices for your life, your life will greatly improve. So yeah, working out has been a huge thing for me. And when you work out, that creates endorphins in your body and endorphins make you happy. I learned that one from Legally Blonde. Anyone else? No, just me? Reading self-help books, meditation, going to the gym, putting good healthy foods in your body. You are what you eat. If you're putting processed, bad things that are not natural, not good for your body, that affects your mood. Drink more water, eat a balanced diet. <laughs> Let me see what else. Oh, my room used to be a disaster. Like, I mean, it's it, I, I could I could use a little sprucing up right now, but I'm not even joking. My room, like, have you seen the show Hoarders? It wasn't that bad, but looking back, I'm like, I look like someone who is probably going to develop into a hoarder because my whole life growing up, I didn't even have a trail to walk to my bed. It was just like everything everywhere because I was always so overwhelmed that I didn't even know where to start out. So I have noticed that when my space around me is a disaster, I can't focus and I feel so much more stressed. So if you are an unorganized kind of messy person, watch YouTube videos. There are tons of like cleaning inspiration videos or like how to clean your room. There are a ton of different videos that will inspire you. Take some tips from that and go for it. If it's a mess, I feel so, so heavy. And like, I just, I've learned that if my space is clean, that gives my head a lot more space to think about other things that I need to do. Another thing is to talk about how you're feeling. And I know that that's not always easy. I have learned that when you find people that you feel comfortable to open up to, it's so nice to just talk. And right now, I'm telling you guys this stuff. It, it's really nice. I feel fine talking right now, but I used to get so jumbled and like word vomit and just it was just all over the place. And the more that I express myself, I feel the easier it is to talk to people in general. Talk to your parents if you can. If you can't, find a friend that you can talk to. If you can't find a friend you can talk to, try to make new friends. Or go to a doctor, see a therapist or a counselor, or I don't know. It's just so important to be able to express yourself and not hold 
these bad thoughts in. The last video I made about my depression, it's so interesting seeing how many people actually had the same thoughts that I thought were weird. So it's nice when you can open up and someone understands because when you have those thoughts that you think are irregular, then you, you realize like, wait, it's just a human thing. Like a lot of people think this way, but no one talks about it. And it's a lot better when you can talk about it. I will say in my last video about depression, my main pointer was one of my biggest fears has always been, I, I don't wanna die. I'm afraid of death. I'm afraid of losing people, death in general has always freaked me out. I used to think like, what's the point? We're all just gonna die. Like, this is a cruel joke. Why give us this life? And then just like, nope, it's gone. But in my journey of switching around my mindset, I've discovered that there are so many possibilities. Like the universe is so big. There's just so much that we don't know and couldn't even comprehend. Like the truth of the reality of existence and that used to overwhelm me. But now I'm like, life is so short and we get this like little experience on this planet and it starts out very slow. Like when you're little, it feels like you've been alive forever and adulthood looks so far away. And then after a very long time, you reach adulthood. And then once you're an adult in your 20s, those go by really fast. And now I'm almost 30. And I look back and I was like, wait, I just turned 20. And then you hear from everyone older than you, you better appreciate it. Life goes by really fast. I'm still afraid of it going by fast. So one thing, especially after reading these books, the self-help books, I'll always go back to these. They made me realize that we just have this little life and why waste it not going after what we want? And so much of the time, the reason we don't go after what we want is because, well, for one, we're telling ourselves that we can't, but we're also so afraid that people are going to judge us for thinking that we have a right to go after what we want. Who does that person think she is to be making YouTube videos? How important does she have to feel to think that she can just do that? But no, you never know a person's reason for doing something. Like I know a lot of you until recently didn't know that my reason was I wanted to help people and connect and, and use this platform for good. Because so many people see others on social media as just trying to get attention, but some people want to help other people. And it's so funny how how many people think that everything's just bad? Social media is bad, YouTube's bad, Instagram's bad, everyone just wants attention. Like that's where my mindset used to be. That's what held me back here for so long because I thought it was just like this bad conceited place and it's not what I wanted. But yeah, at the same time, I did want to be on YouTube because I wanted to help people, but I can't help people when my mind's in a negative place. Who is going to want help by someone who thinks negatively and is miserable? Isn't the goal to be happy, but you decide what things mean to you. You can take Instagram and think it's this stuck up place that is horrible for people, or you can use it to be a positive influence and spread a good message and be uplifting and connect. It's all about connecting. You decide what you get out of it. So if you're following people on any social media that has a negative mindset or they're making you feel bad about yourself, you have the control to unsubscribe, unfollow, don't interact, don't engage. Like you can fill your life up with what you want. I'm all over the place because this pointer was supposed to be about going after what you want in life, but I wanna go after social media and like YouTube and this stuff, so that's why it's relevant for me. I was held back because it all seems so negative, but I have control to make it a positive experience for myself and for anybody else in my bubble who is following me, who I'm surrounded by. I have control of that. After going off on that tangent that seems kind of not part of what I was trying to say, go after what you want in life. I, that's why I'm doing this YouTube thing. This is what I wanna do. If someone is trying to bring you down for going after what you want in life, that is more of a reflection of who they are than who you are. A nice person does not try to tear another person down. Stop being afraid of what other people think. No more excuses. Do you want to get to the end of your life and be like, wow, I didn't do anything that I wanted because I was too afraid of what other people would think. Other people aren't you. You'll find that when you strive for self-improvement and strive for happiness 
and strive to be the best person that you can be. Other people's opinions don't matter so much. Yeah, of course, a negative comment can sting a bit, but I've learned like that's that person doesn't know me. I know me, I know my intentions, and my intentions are good. So if anyone's ever mean to you and that brings you down and that is a cause for any of your depression, that sucks, it's something you have to you have to learn to overcome, but always know if someone's treating you badly, that is a reflection of them, not of you. They have their issues, they're hurting. Like they say, hurt people hurt people. I'm sure you've heard that. My vision board, I've talked about it so many times, it's right there. I was always so afraid to share what I wanted because of what other people might think. Even what I thought, I thought there are so many people in this world why should I feel like I deserve what I want? Even my own thoughts about myself used to hold me back from my goals, but I put them out there and they're actually happening. So you can either be miserable or you can actually try to do what you wanna do and be surprised that when you actually think, wow, I can do these things, that they actually start happening. It is in your mindset. There's this saying that goes, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right either way. If you think you can do something and you want to do it and you go after it and you think you can do it, you most likely will. Do you think when I started a YouTube channel that I imagined that I would have hundreds of thousands of subscribers? Because when I started it, I wanted it, but I didn't think I could get there. And it wasn't until I owned it and was like, I'm doing YouTube, this is what I want. I put on my vision board. I want to reach 1 million subscribers and my channel's increasing and growing. And if I didn't think I could do it, that would hold me back. Like, why would I make videos? Why would I continue to make videos if I didn't think that I could do anything with this? Because I think I can, I can. If I think I can't, then I can't. I'm not gonna put in the effort. One huge, huge thing Make a list of your goals, make a vision board, put out like, what do you want? Stop holding it in. If there's something you wanna do, but you won't even admit it, you're not gonna do it. I promise you that. You are only going to do what you admit you want to do. If you're depressed, if, if you feel like you're held back, if you're in a job that sucks, stop the excuses, go on Google, find out the steps that you need to take to make that happen and start, it's all about starting. A big pointer for depression and anxiety, if you're someone like me who naturally sometimes get these negative spiraling thoughts, for one, if you're starting to feel that way, try to meditate, even though it's, it's hard when your thoughts are out of control, read a book, or even more so. When I'm getting ready for my day, instead of sitting there in silence, having my brain spiral in a negative way, I will put on a podcast. My favorite podcast is Rich Bitch Podcast with Angie Lee. She used to be $100,000 in debt and dropped out of college and now she's a multimillionaire and she's like my age. So she had that transformation. She was in debt and now she is, an, is a millionaire and has a very positive mindset. So I'm gonna listen to someone like her who struggled and is sharing her process and how she's reached her success. And I'm gonna fill my mind with that positive stuff. Not just a distraction, but something that is going to benefit my life and reset my mindset. Another thing that's helped, I will I will get her, come here lady. Uh, if you are an animal person, which I hope you are, because animal people are the best, because animals are the best. I love my cat. Like I call her my emotional support cat. Oh, she does not want to be held up like that. But she has been, a huge thing for me. So definitely an emotional support animal. I love her so much. But again, I'm telling you, it all started with reading and just changing my mindset. It's literally your mindset controls your life. If you tend to have a negative mindset and you're just sitting there hoping things will change, it's not gonna happen. You can't hope for a change without putting in effort to change things. If you want your life to change, you have to do, do things differently. They say insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. No, if you are in a place where you're like, I'm tired of this, I don't wanna feel this way anymore, you can't sit around and wait for a change. You have to take initiative and do something different in your life. It sounds hard, 
but it's all about getting started. Yeah, maybe still the reality of life is I am going to die, but why not enjoy the life that I have? Why take this small amount of time we have and live it miserable and in fear when we can make the most of our time here. I used to struggle because I'm like, well, people are miserable, why should I be happy? Why shouldn't you be happy? Why would you want to live a miserable life? If you have the choice to be able to improve your life, why not do it? When you are improving you and learning to be happy, you are able to positively affect other people. I can't make these videos, I can't reach other people in a positive way if I am miserable and angry and resentful. Basically what I'm trying to say is, to make a positive change in the world, start on your own happiness because when you are happy, you are going to be able to reach so many more people. You're gonna be so much more open, you are gonna feel better yourself, and in the process, you can help other people. I hope what I said in this video made sense, especially because I did not make notes of what I wanted to say. I hope I got everything out there. If I remember any pointers that have really helped me that I didn't say in this video, I will leave them in the description below, so go check that out. But that is all I have for you today. If you have any recommendations on videos you wanna see from me, let me know. And again, if you wanna enter this contest to win my favorite self-help books, do so. I will leave all the rules again on the contest down below, but that is all I have for you today and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys.